.NET 6, it's here. This is the biggest release for the .NET framework in years, and it seeps into every nook and cranny of not just Azure, but also performance, cross-platform, and so much more. I'm Lars Clint, and in this episode of Azure This Week, it's all about this new version of .NET. I'm going to start with the cloud part of .NET 6 and all the related announcements. And let's begin with my favorite because, well, it's my show. Azure Functions are now in version 4.0, which means full support for .NET 6. Azure Functions supports both in-process and isolated or out-of-process execution models as well, which is key for services like durable functions. App Services also now support .NET 6 on both Windows and Linux machines, and you can use ASP.NET Core as well. And if you're already using a preview of .NET 6 for your app service, no need to panic. The new runtime version will be picked up automatically when your application is restarted. Azure Static Web Apps now support full-stack .NET 6 applications by using either Blazor Web Assemblies or Azure Functions APIs, or both. Yeah. Kubernetes on Azure is also getting the .NET 6 treatment, and there are surely many more services to come. .NET 6 is the LTS, long-term support, version of .NET, which means any service supporting the framework will have that version. Quick break in the .NET 6 news to tell you that if you'd like to learn more about cloud development with Azure, check out ACG's free plan gives you access to free courses and quizzes, plus learning paths and original series content. And you don't need a credit card to sign up. I'll include a link in the description. Performance is one of those elusive goals that when you achieve it, it immediately moves further away. Now that hasn't stopped the wizards at Microsoft though. The new version of .NET has so many improvements that the blog post is eight kilometers long or thereabouts. Now let me summarize for you though. The just-in-time, JIT, compiler has been updated in an unbelievable number of ways. No, actually, I do believe them. Mm. It has something to do with inlining and de-virtualization, which I don't understand though. The garbage collector implementation has changed from segments to regions, which is significant in how the memory blocks are sized and used. The throughput for system types such as GUID, string, random, environment, and many, 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 many more have been vastly improved. In some cases, the improvement is 90% or more from previous versions of .NET. Collections and link have also been improved to take the clone methods on lists and dictionaries. It is improved by 97% from .NET 4.8. Holy moly. And there are so many more, but this is all I have time for. I am mentioning these performance improvements because of course it will all flow into the Azure apps where you use .NET. If you're into the details of performance tuning and improvements, this Saturn V sized blog post is worth a read. One of the holy grail moments of programming is reusing code. I used to reuse code between my Windows and Windows phone apps. Oh, those were the days. I digress. .NET 6 has made great progress in creating a unified platform that includes the browser, cloud apps, desktop, IoT, and mobile apps. Now this platform makes it even easier to share .NET 6 between targets. You can write machine learning apps that run in the browser and look for streaming data anomalies or use WebAssembly to run .NET apps right in the browser. With .NET MAUI, the multi-platform app UI, you can even write a single project that creates a similar experience across mobile and desktop. Now, where have I seen that before? Hmm. Now, these are just a small segment of all the amazing innovations and progress made with .NET 6. It really is a huge deal if you live in the Microsoft developer space, and it's a big deal for Azure. I encourage you to check out the blog post from Microsoft, and it is really thorough, and it is really worth going through as well. Now, as we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when a single major announcement takes much more time to go through than there are hours in the day, but then you remember you can just refer to the blog post itself when you need to, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. <laughs>